something that holds a lot of people back is that they feel like they already should be a master of something just because they've been doing mm-hmm. it for years already. It's like just because mm-hmm. you've been doing something for years does not mean that you should be a master at it. Like I've been using a computer for God knows how long and I – I can like How I had spreadsheets work. I don't know. It's what, not even that. Like I formulas? have, I have the most technical frustrations because I hate technology. Like you think I'll know how to fix a computer, how to use a computer to its utmost, just because I've had a computer and used one for so long. Like mm. there are experts in a field for a particular reason. You buy courses, yeah. you get mentors for a particular reason. People think right. that just because they have a right to a barbell that they should know how to barbell squat straight away. Mm. Or they feel mm. like just because they now finally learned how to barbell squat that they should be already barbell squatting body weight. Why are they yet? Why am I progressing fast? And I'm like, it's a technical lift. But something you said triggered me off on this rant and it needs to be said. People need to just focus on their lane. And when I say shut the fuck up, I mean mentally. Because they're too busy mentally chattering onto looking at what other people are doing, trying to find more advice, trying to find the most optimal way. Just all of this stuff is just noise, but mm-hmm. it's not where you are right now to move forward. And then people are yeah. arguing volume this, volume that, reps this, reps that, this set, that set. It's like none of that matters for you because, yeah, yeah maybe this is what annoys me about the optimal volume. It's like, you're preaching about optimal volume. There's a guy that was talking about this and like, you're making a really good point, but do you know your target audience? Yeah, okay, mm-hmm. you say you know your target audience and it applies for them as well, but you don't understand how it actually does not apply to them because that target volume is for hard sets. Most people do not know how to perform hard sets to get the adequate. Yeah, okay, cool. It's a new person in the gym. They can grow from anything. Yeah, but they can grow from anything. Is that the best that they can actually progress? Like mm. hard sets, a lot of people are warming up with their sets or they don't know how to push themselves. Or because they can only lift like a two kilo dumbbell, for example, just going to the extreme. Say it's a two kilo dumbbell. Why not? Because it's not really going to add that much cns fatigue is not going to add that much actual whole body fatigue because they are not lifting heavy enough loads yet we can accumulate volume with a little more sets a little more reps because they don't actually know how to tap into their neurological efficiency to lift heavier so that's where Mm -hmm. three times 12 to 15 or four times 10 or even four times 12 to 15 that's where that comes in and Mm -hmm. sometimes maybe even programming five sets or four sets for a lot of the things because you'll realize, hey, why don't we increase the weight every single set in these four sets? Because people don't actually take the time to find an a proper working weight to get to yes, that correct. place. Yeah, like, correct. just because something says three sets of 10 doesn't mean you have to use the same weight for the same three sets of 10. Like, just increase the weight because you can do more than you realize. And I spoke about this before. I don't know what, I think it was on this podcast actually. Mm-hmm. But I had a girl who I am challenged her to increase the weight regardless of whether she thinks she can do it or not. If she can't do all the reps, cool, leave it there. But still do it anyway. On the last set of every exercise. And it went from being an eight-week program to a 13-week program. Because she kept increasing that last set for the next five weeks. And I'm like, what the hell were you doing for the last eight weeks? <laughs> like, seriously. I th- and I think it comes from a lot of people doing these, like, circuit training, boot camp, freaking CrossFit, whatever the hell. Like, you don't know how to do an actual proper structured program. And the question that I hate the most is, what weight should I be lifting with? I don't freaking know. What can you lift? Like, even if you're my client, I don't know. Like, what can... You've never done that before. It's a new exercise. I don't know. Am I going to just say, okay, just start with a 20 kilo weight? What if you can't do the 20 kilos? Oh my God, I'm a failure. What if you can do 40 kilos and I'm telling you to use 20 kilos? Okay, so are you actually going to stick to that 20 kilos or are you going to put it up to the 40? Oh no, coach said 20. I don't know. Do a warming set, warm up set. Do it for like three reps. Five reps, depending on what the working rep range is. And then do another one with more weight, depending on where you are. Like when I do my incline dumbbell presses, because I press with like 20s, I do five five sets, five reps at 15, 
and then I do three reps at 17. Because if I was going to do like five reps of each or 10 reps of each, if my working set is like eight reps and I'm doing 10 reps of each, I'm going to be freaking freaking fatigued by the end of it. And I probably did like five working sets instead of three or four. And yeah. my goal is to make the most out of my working sets. So what can you do? What can you exactly. warm up with? What can you not fatigue yourself with? And this is the thing, like, 